reliable would you say the buses in Detroit are? Two percent. Two percent of the time they, they come on time and you get to work on time? Honestly, probably about 45, maybe 45 percent. Okay. You get what you want. Okay, you half you the time something. you get what you want. Right. Which Is that enough? No, that's 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 not reliable at all. A definition. Well, what? Why? Because people don't care about people on the bus. They they're workers. You know, they go to work, they come home, they go to work, go home, they spend a large like they they lose out on a lot of their day catching the bus or waiting to catch the bus or the whole transit experience. So they'd rather pay four bucks a, ga a gallon if they had a car. So the, pe the, the people on the bus don't people necessarily on the bus aren't on the bus by choice. Never, never, ever, ever. Right. At least not in the city of. So what do you think? There's more people on the bus now because of gas prices. No. <laughs> they'll just they're just sucking it up. What do you mean? And paying and paying for gas. The people that have cars, yes. Or maybe maybe this is their first and last experience on the. Well, um, we're standing here on um, what is this Finkel in Princeton on the corner. One block from um, we just got on a bus, but it broke down. The bus driver said that the bus is going to catch on fire. I don't know if that's true, but we got off, and um, that was my first experience riding a Detroit bus. Not um, only did we get off, but we got only, off, and the bus kept going. <laughs> the bus kept going, yeah. And the bus left us. Anyway, the bus kept going, knowing it was going to be on fire, and they let us put the money in the bus, knowing that it was about to catch on fire, and that was breaking down. And once we paid, they were like, okay, now you have to get off. After they, um, I don't know what to say. I, I couldn't do this every day. I'm was not really gonna catch on fire. Yeah, she she said it's about to catch on fire. She did. And then I said, "You mean it's gonna break down?" And the dude sitting next to me said, "No, it's gonna catch on fire. It's not." So, wow, they let us pay for a bus that was about to catch on fire. Yes, intentionally, knowingly, and willingly. Willingly, most important. So. Uh, now we're just walking down Finkel trying to find another bus stop. And uh, hopefully our transfer works because at least we got a transfer. Um, so I can't really complain about that. Um. So now we're on the bus. We're on the Finkel bus headed downtown. And we've been waiting after about an hour. We finally got on the bus we need to be on. And the first one broke down. That's why it took so long. And um, so now we're headed downtown. And this is the Detroit bus.